everybody. Uh, my name is Jeremy Browning here with MLC CAD Systems. Today we're going to show you some solar electrical on this webinar. First, I'm going to give you a little bit of information about myself. Uh, I am a super nerd. I have an electrical background, done some automation design in the past, and we designed some machines that made some artificial DNA for drug research. Uh, I am a CrossFit nerd in my spare time, so if you know what that is, please feel free to reach out to me when we talk about it. Today's topics, we're going to go from schematic creation all the way to 3D routing, uh, also some design reuse and some reporting in there. Um, first thing I want to talk about is the schematic creation. So to organize your design, we're, you're facing some, some challenges whenever you're creating your schematic. You have some symbols that, you, that are not intelligent. You're just placing these symbols down, and they're not meaning anything except for lines on paper. Um, it's very labor intensive. Uh, everything's done manually. And so uh, we're going to show you how you sol using SolidWorks Electrical, we can make that intuitive and fast. So this is the interface of SolidWorks Electrical. Uh, what we have here is we have a project that has already been started. This is what I typically call the manager's view. This is an overview of the project. It's like a 10,000 foot view. And then we also have our power and control page. On this page, we have to build a motor starter circuit. And to do so, I can draw multiple wire styles at once. Now that's really awesome because it's going to give you a whole bunch of information in each style, and I don't have to draw them each individually, so I'm saving tons of time. I can come in here and actually place a symbol for our motor, and I'm just going to search for it. And then I'm going to go ahead and place this thing down, and you're going to notice that it actually cuts the wires right here for it. And I already have this built in. So I know that it's this M1 motor, and I'm going to go ahead and hit OK. And you're going to see that it pulls in all the information right here about this motor. And so what we can do is we can actually just turn off any information that we don't need. We can actually grab this and move it. And you're going to see that it intelligently um, cuts all the wires and trims everything to your need. So what we can do now is we can continue building our, our, our circuit here. And let's add our relay. And then we're going to go ahead and add our contactor. You can see that I'm using different groups. Now, these are really beneficial because you can group symbols together for what their need is. So if you have any specific uh, symbols that you're going to use for specific projects, you can grab those and place them into any groups that you want. Last thing we're going to do is we're going to actually insert a terminal strip here. And with this terminal strip, as soon as it's placed down, we actually see that this motor is connected to that terminal strip through a cable. This cable name is W1. So at this point, we're done with this motor starter circuit. And so very quickly and very easily, we're able to build that, and it's very, very quick. So the schematic creation, the benefits of using SOLIDWORKS Electrical, it's very easy to create, and there's intelligence built in. You see that there's manufacturer part numbers and manufacturer names uh, pulling in with those symbols. The next thing we're going to take a look at here is how to save some time. So some challenges that some customers face is how to reuse their data. So sometimes you have to manually update marks, whether it's M1 or M2. Nothing's linked to 3D. And so I want to show you how we can actually reuse your data and build intelligence into it. So with this exact same motor starter circuit that I just built, what I can do is I can actually create a new group, and I can call this like motor. And that's very beneficial because, again, you can group things into specific groups on your need. And that exact circuit that I just built, I'm going to go ahead and save this. We're going to, we save this as a macro. And then um, I can reuse that. So if I need to add more motor starter circuits, I can simply just drag them right here onto my page. and um, we're going to go ahead and like update the mark so that it creates all kinds of new stuff. We're going to hit finish. So you see now everything is incremented, and we brought all of our information that we built one time, and we can reuse it over and over again. In this specific project, we don't necessarily need two motors. I just want to show you how easy it is to use that macro. On the same kind of page, we can use a macro for a, a uh, little ladder logic symbol here. 
And so um, I can use this and drop it down. And you're going to see that I'm building this little latching relay circuit. And for our components, uh, we're going to keep the same marks, and everything's going to pull in appropriately. So it's very easy to build a ladder logic symbol, uh, build it one time, reuse it over and over again. Some, some customers are using PLCs. And if you're using a PLC, here's another example of how you can use a macro. I'm just going to drop a PLC symbol in here so that we can use it. And then I have a PLC macro of kind of a similar circuit to what the ladder logic is. I'm going to go ahead and drop it down here. You see, very quickly and easily, I was able to create this, this PLC circuit. So if you're using the exact same circuits on your PLCs over and over again on multiple projects, then all you have to do is build it once, save it, and then reuse it over and over again. So um, taking a look at those challenges, what are the benefits of SolidWorks Electrical? Well, everything is very fast to create. There's no errors. So all of your marks are being taken care of behind the scenes. So you don't ever have to go in there and figure out which one's M2, which one's M3, and manage that. SolarWorks Electrical manages it for you. And then we're going to take a look at reporting. So what are, the, what are some of the challenges in reporting? So a lot of customers, they have to manually open up Excel or open up Word and track all their marks, the manufacturers that they're using, all the things that are going on behind the scenes of the actual schematic creation. This is very prone to errors. You can make a mistake, enter the wrong part number in, and then you're going to get the wrong part in, and you're going to have delays. So how can we use Solar Electrical to help us with that? Well, what we have are some, some reports that we can pull. And these are all built into the software. And very quickly, I can just say, hey, I want to generate my bill of materials and my list of wires. I'm just going to hit OK, and you're going to see very quickly what used to take me weeks to do is now just done in seconds. Let's take a look at one of these. We have a bill of materials here. It has a list of part numbers, the list of the marks, the descriptions of those components, the quantity, and the manufacturer. We also have another bill of materials that's grouped a little bit differently. We have it grouped by location. These reports are customizable, so if you want them broken down any specific way, then you can pretty much make these things sing and dance however you need. Also, we have a list of wires. You're going to see this is broken down by style. So just like when I drew our, our motor starter circuit, I had three different types of wires being drawn. They all get different styles. Uh, each one of these styles has a length associated with them. If they're routed in 3D, then they get a length associated. So you can see that that's very easy to create. All this information is right at your fingertips. So some of the benefits of using SOLIDWORKS Electrical to create your reports, we have basically an instant bill of materials. It's very accurate because it's based on your schematic. It's not based in some ether uh, about a project that someone might know a little bit about. It's based on your actual schematic. The last thing I want to take a look at is 3D routing. So basically, how do we take our 2D schematic and visualize it in 3D. Well, some of the challenges with that is the lack of department integration. Mechanical guys never talk to the electrical guys and vice versa. So you have this very time consuming cycle of an electrical guy placing a symbol and specking out a part and then it doesn't fit in the mechanical guy's enclosure. Well, how can we use SOLIDWORKS Electrical to alleviate that problem? So using SOLIDWORKS Mechanical, we can actually um, come in here and we can open this 3D assembly. So right here from 2D, we're going to go ahead and open this 3D assembly up. And you see I have a couple components placed in here. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to hit this button that hides everything that we've already inserted. So basically all we have to do is continue to insert all of our parts. So with a very simple right click and an insert, we're going to go ahead and drop the rest of our components. You can see that it's using 
a smart mates and it's actually snapping to our our components here. I'm also going to place this E stop. And the last thing I'm going to put in here is our terminal strip. So I'm just very simply right click, insert, use our smart mates to snap to our terminal. I'm going to go ahead and place the rest of our terminals in our strip. So I can confirm again that everything is inserted and it is. So now all we have to do is actually route all of our wires. So with a very simple uh, one click, hit the route wires, and now Solar Electrical is actually going to come in here and figure out the perfect path for all your wires to route. This is usually the point where you go get a cup of coffee, talk to your coworkers, ask them how many wires they've routed today. So you see it, it kind of shows you the path that it's going to take, what connections need to happen, and then they force them along what's called an EW path, or like an electrical wire path. Also notice that each one of these have different colors and also different gauges. That is specified in each wire style. So whether you have a really big bend radius or a really tight bend radius, whether they're purple, whether they're red or yellow, whatever wire colors you need, you see that they get represented in 3D as well. So one last thing I'd like to show you in, um, in SOLIDWORKS Electrical about wire routing is I have this robot arm assembly here. I'm going to go ahead and open this one up. And if you guys ever have to do any harness work, then um, we can actually leverage SOLIDWORKS Electrical to use, use the harnessing capability. So you see right here, I have this harness that is built up. I have placed it into the bottom. It routes up through our, our robot here. We have like a, a multi-axis robot. And you see that this harness climbs all the way up this robot, all the way to the very end where the grabber, and it's grounded. So what you can actually do is you can use the routing function built into SOLIDWORKS Electrical 3D to create this harness and then flatten it out. So I have this harness that's built in here, and what's really cool is you can actually insert all of your flattened routes into your electrical project. So if I jump over here to SOLIDWORKS Electrical, you see that there's actually a solid drawing that I can open up. And this is the flattened route that we have created on our 3D model. So this can be sent to manufacturing. This has all of your bill of materials. This has all of your lengths that have been driven from 3D. It has a visualization of all your components. Everything that you need to actually wire up and create this harness. What's really cool about that is the fact that it's wrapped up right here inside of your electrical project. So if you wanted to actually put a DWG inside here, so you can just double click on it and open it right in electrical, you can do that as well. You see all of our build material and everything specified right there for you. So how can we leverage SolidWorks Electrical to apply our 3D routing, and how does it help us? Well, it's very simple component placement. It's a very easy right click and insert. It's accurate wire representation down to gauge and color and bend radius. So if you have very specific needs, SolarWorks Electrical can address those. So the last thing I'd like to do is I'd like, you, like to call you to action. If you have any design challenges that you've been facing, please email me. You see my email is there on the screen, also my contact phone number. Thank you, Jeremy. So far, no questions, but uh, if anybody has anything they'd like to see or any questions they have about the software or anything we've covered, please uh, let us know. We're happy to help.